okay i wanted to have hey i wanted to have like an open let's put the v-factor up i wanted to have like an open candid discussion i started writing hey i've started writing down when i want to talk about something so that i can remember and talk about it properly because i have so many things i want to talk about and then i turn the camera on and i completely forget so i've been writing them down what do i want to talk about right now oh my gosh okay I want to talk about feeling like a failure at this age. One sec. I want to get relaxed. So I'm 24. I turned 24 in April. I'm 24 as of April 16th. And a lot of the times I feel like I failed. Um, candidly talking here, these are just my feelings. Um, and I feel like that because I do a lot of comparing myself to those around me and those in similar spaces as me. And when I look at other 24 year olds in my spaces, they have their own shows or they're on shows or they're doing this and that, that it's really huge and big. And I feel like I'm kind of doing nothing. I feel like I'm kind of just trailing along. Also, I believe that a lot of creators go through this period where they're just kind of forgotten about. They kind of fall off and people just forget about them. I think that's because there's so many creators to see right now. I think there's always been a lot of creators, but right now um, pla certain platforms make it really, really accessible. I, I don't know how to explain it. I think they, they show you so many creators it's kind of hard as a viewer and i struggle with this myself as a viewer to remember everyone because there's so many people to watch now and there's so many people to pick from um and i think because of that sometimes people get left behind and i think that i'm getting left behind a little bit um and that's okay it happens i feel like that tends to happen to you if you're not like a super creator or you don't make it out of the creator bubble and into just like a person like i feel like some people they've made it to just being a person like no one really considers them an influencer or a creator for example emma chamberlain i've never heard people describe her as a creator personally that could be how people describe it to you i've just never heard it bretman rock like i don't hear people say bretman rock is a creator because bretman rock has built like a empire and i feel like same with emma i feel like when you're not at that level but you have a lot of followers you just kind of get forgetting about forgotten about and i think that's happening to me right now it kind of sucks because i've seen it have i've seen it coming for a while but with that being said i've been i've been acting super dramatic about it i've been crying and I've been panicking like freaking out going nuts side note i've been using aquaphor to heal any injury i had you know how my whole entire toenail came off like a week or two ago yeah it's already healed because all I do is put aquaphor on it. Anyway, <laughs> aquaphor. Healing ointment, advanced protection. Anyways, um, but even with that being said, I've done my dramatics, I've cried it out, I've journaled it out, I've done all the good stuff. And it was really getting to me at first, like no one wants to be forgotten about obviously, but what can you do about that, you know, besides keep going or quit? And I've had my quit thoughts all the time. I think about quitting all the time just because I, I'm human. I think about quitting my job like everybody else all the time. I'm not going to do it though. <laughs> so I've decided to just be positive about it and just keep posting and keep trying. I also myself have seen people who were forgotten about and their platform died off or it fizzled out. And then they came back even harder and they came back posting even better stuff than before or they came back and everyone was like oh my gosh like you know so i think that patience is a big key it's just having patience i know that a lot of the older youtubers they used to be doing youtube for like five years so i can have a little bit of patience you know so that's another thing i've been teaching myself a lot of patience lately and just how to be more of a patient individual i think that having no patience is a very big downfall for me and it affects a lot of things in life for me it stops me from getting <laughs> sorry it stops me from giving myself opportunities it stops me from getting things done being so impatient for example um i pre-film like seven million videos in one day 
because in my head I'm like, oh, I can just get all of it done now because I'm not gonna feel like doing this tomorrow. It's okay to do just one video today and then one tomorrow. You don't have to film 9,000 videos in one day to get ahead because when I do that, it's horrible. The videos I post are terrible. I remember when I used to be like popping on TikTok Anytime I posted when I was not happy, the comments would always be like, her vibe is off, I know something's wrong with her, what's wrong with her? And I'd be like, damn, how do you know that? Like, how did you, how did you see right through me? That's because it wasn't, I wasn't good at hiding it. Like, I was so stressed and I was so unhappy in my life at that time. And I thought that was like the way to like get the content out was just to rush film. Like, no, <laughs> people want quality. Well, kind of. That's actually another thing I want to talk about, but I'll save that for another video on why I think people do not want quality. <laughs> but in this video, it fits my agenda in my narrative to say that people want quality. But in this way, people want quality and they want, they want good videos. They want entertainment. And whenever I was making videos like that, they were not entertaining. They were just rushed and just a mess. So yeah, anyways, I said all that. I'm um, sorry. This is how a conversation with me looks like. I just accidentally go off on tangents all the time. It's, I'm also working. Alexa, turn off all the lights, please. I'm also actively okay. working on s stopping that too because I think it's really frustrating to speak to someone that's just like started out over here and somehow ended up in Nebraska. So working on that too. Doing a lot of working on myself lately. I've really been trying to become an individual that I would want to be friends with and not the individual that I would, I don't know how to explain it, but I really wanna be a person that I would like to be around. So with that being said, back to my main topic about feeling like a failure at young ages. At the end of the day, I'm 24. A lot of celebrities do not start really popping until they're like late 20s, early 30s. Some people don't start their lives until, <sighs> excuse me, until they're 40. Like who am I to feel like a failure at 24? Like realistically if i never became an influencer i would what still be in college like and i wouldn't think i was a failure if i was still in college um so i don't know i i'm trying to just take it easier on myself and i think you should do the same thing just take it easy on yourself you're not a failure for not being a rocket scientist at the age of 20 you're not a failure for not being charlie d'amelio famous at the age of 18. life happens at different paces for everybody and i'm learning this lesson myself so Hopefully we can learn this together and we can do like check-ins and stuff. I want to make more videos like these where I kind of just treat this as a video, video diary. Sorry, my stutter. As a video diary. And then my voice cracks. Um, so that's what I want to do more often. I just kind of like the more candid vibes. I actually barely even want to edit this. Probably just to edit like unnecessary cuts. But I want to keep it as... Candid as possible. Candid is gonna be my favorite word. Um, should we try journal entering together? I'm not gonna show you what I can write, but we should journal together. So you should get your journal. And if you don't journal, you should go pause this. Go to the store, go to Walmart, go to Target, go wherever, buy you a journal. And then when, the per when you get to the register, be like, this journal is for Shallon. We're gonna, we're gonna journal together. She's this like vlogger. And then the person at the register is going to be like, okay, I really didn't ask you, nor do I care. And then you're going to be like, I know. And then you're going to come home and then you're going to play the video and then we're going to journal together. Okay, let me, let me get my journal. I've got my journal. Let's do a journal move. Let's do our journal entry together. My journal is just super basic. It just says notebook. I got it from Target. Love her down. She says she ain't got no man. Oh, my sad ass journal entries. I hate... That's the only thing I don't really like about journaling is journaling is looking past my sad entries. Like, girl. Sheesh. Um, damn. Sometimes I want to rip my entries out. Shit, I have to stream. Sometimes I have to rip. I really want to rip pages out, but I don't because I want to remember that I felt that way. And then I can only pray that like the next entry is super, I had a great day today. So I'm not gonna tear it out. Um, we're gonna just write in our journals in silence. So you write in yours and I'm not gonna show you mine and you don't have to show me yours either. Okay. What's the date? Alexa, what's the date? I think it's the third. Today is Wednesday, August 3rd. She sounded so creepy. Okay. Oh, I wrote July. Okay, shh.
No peeking. the sad part. I'm at half a page. It better be a half a page too or I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna get ahead of you. I need a better surface. Okay, my entry today is a little sad, um, but I ended it off with a smiley face. So I think I'm putting positive energy in the air about it. Uh, so hopefully it comes true, but uh, yeah. Um, I'm about to stream and play some Sims. Streaming really cheers me up. Hey, hush. Streaming really cheers me up and gets me back in uh, a happier mood when I'm kind of down. So I think I'm gonna go do that and then I'll see you guys next time. Bye.